guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with another sit down video which I'm so excited for. Please do not mind what I'm wearing. I literally was in my pajamas and I was gonna get changed to wear, I said, I said this in my last video, I was gonna get changed to wear something cute but we're in the pajamas and we're rolling with it. I'm gonna be talking about all my new year's resolutions for 2024. So it's currently day three of 2024. I got back from BTV, I went to a festival for New Year's. So like a little bit of a rough start to the year, rough as in like not my healthiest, but <laughs> it was the best weekend and I have a vlog coming out for that soon. So get keen for that. Anyway, I wasn't going to make this video, but I saw a lot of people have been doing it on YouTube and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do that. And I wrote these New Year's resolutions like to a week before 2024. So, I've really thought about them and thought about what I actually want to implement in my life this year. I can't believe it's this year already. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably going to be more that I'm going to think of throughout the year. Like that always happens with your goals. They always change. But these are just a few things that I want to implement. I want to learn about. Some are like very like motivating and then some are just like random. They're just completely random. Like, I guess one thing about me is that I, I'm all you try to be disciplined, motivated, do all healthy things. Like, I love that sort of stuff. But also, I, I do like like to party and do all the fun stuff as well. So I'm just like a bit of both. So I'm not actually sure how many I have, but there's over ten or maybe ten, I would say. My first one. This isn't in any particular order, by the way. It's very random, like no priority list. My first one that I have on here is to stop saying um, fumbling my sentences and have overall clearer speech. I tried to speak that so clearly. Also, under all my goals and resolutions, I've written why, just because the why is the most important part of having a goal. And the why for this reason is so I can feel confident talking to absolutely anyone, no matter who or where I am and be able to communicate effectively and hold good engagement within conversations. I really tried to, to sound really smart then, but overall, I just want to say, um, and filler words like, so, all right, like all of those things. Cause I say them so much and I know that I, I think I do it on default, like to, as a, like an Aussie to like dumb myself down and be more down to earth. Like, I think that's why I do it so much, but I want to reduce it. I don't want to sound like I'm like, oh, I'm the queen of England and I don't say um at all. But I just want to be less mumbly and mumbly and everywhere. My next resolution is to take meaningful steps to create positive impact on other people's lives. Why do I want to do this? Because people interest me. And I want to gain a deeper perspective on how people live and feel and make efforts to help better their lives. Always, this is bad to say, but I've always like taken the people route. Like I genuinely care about people and care less about nature and animals. Oh, that's so bad to say, but I just like, if I want to help, I want to help people. So whether this is like me helping someone that's, struggling with money or even just like with my friends and stuff you know just being there to be able to just listen to them and like help them work through their difficulties I felt like I've had a lot of help in my life so I just want to give it back it's a bit it's a bit deep of me next one is really important and that's focus on gut health and learn about nutrition um I just said um <laughs> I want to do this because I want to function at the best of my ability every day and have proper energy levels, no bloating, clean system, mental clarity on point, no more brain fog. Because I do think I go through stages where I am just feeling crap within myself and I know it's all to do with the stuff I'm putting in my body and my gut health. I'm not saying that I eat like poo, but I do think I could be eating things that would reduce inflammation and all that sort of stuff. Definitely done a lot better with my gut health this year than previous years in my life, but I just want to get really, really good at it um, and just 
clear my mental clarity as well. This one is post consistently on social media and all platforms and all styles. I don't actually know how this one will go because I mean, I post on social media, but like, I think I get in my head a bit sometimes, which I don't, that's the whole reason I put this quote on there, quote, this resolution on there because I just want to reduce that and just post whatever I want and post me being me. Yep. I want to do that so I can grow my following and create a well-trusted community and just create content that I like to create and hopefully people can relate to me and I can help them. Maybe. This one's a bit random, but limit eating before bed, like lots of food before bed. I work a night job, so I get home at like 10 p.m., after 10 p.m. And obviously I eat a meal because I'm not a psycho. I just can't go to sleep without, with feeling hungry. I can't do that. But I think it it's affecting my sleep and also my energy levels the next day. So I want to not completely cut it out because that's my lifestyle, but just limit it and focus on what I'm eating because it makes me just wake up feeling gross and not hungry. And then I don't eat until like midday the next day, which isn't good because breakfast is quite important. This next one is do some therapy. Be a psychologist. Not because I think that I'm like really like mentally ill, but I just think that everyone needs to. And you would you will hear like in the media a lot well not in the media but like YouTube and stuff, like therapy is genuinely a good investment for yourself. Um I wanna heal some childhood traumas, like I've had a serious injury in my life that's impacted me a bit. I just wanna like test it out and see how it goes, see if I feel any better from it. Oh, this next one is like high up on there. Find a job to replace my casual jobs. So I currently work three jobs and it's like chaotic because trying to align them all casually. Like I work different times every different week. Why do I want to do this? Because I think I've done my time at Coles and being a waitress and I want to learn a new skill that's more career focused. I'm doing real estate as well, but I'm still unsure about, about it. Um, I just want to see what other opportunities will come. I've been applying for a few other jobs, which I would love. I'd love to get a job where I can, where I can travel or move out of home because I think I feel, I love it here, but I just want that opportunity. This next one is I want to travel and be spontaneous and adventurous. I think that I've definitely traveled a bit. Um, I did a couple trips this year, but I, I've never actually like, travel traveled solo i've done some spontaneous things like i went to queensland by myself spontaneously and met up with friends that i haven't seen in 13 years but like i just want to do some more spontaneous things traveling is something that i really want to do i really want to go to america at the end of this year that would be ideal except the only thing stopping me is that it's like a 20 dollars for a punnet of strawberries and i'm like I don't know if I can justify that, but we'll see what happens. It's on my vision board, but whatever happens, happens, okay. The next one is I want to learn more about investing and the stock market and stuff and stuff. Already failing at this New Year's resolution shit. <clears throat> I want to learn about the stock market and shares. I already have some shares in two mining companies, which my dad has kind of helped me learn about. And they're actually doing pretty well. But I want to learn more about investing in broad stock markets. Everyone knows that that's the safest route to go because whether one company goes down, it doesn't really matter because you're investing in like 500. So that's something I want to do. And I kind of want to do gain dollars a week instead of buying three takeaway coffees. That's my little hack that I'm going to do. And I want to do that to try and set myself up for financial freedom in the future. And to just like have that set of financial skills locked away in there, if you get what I mean. So in 2023, I pretty much developed an app. 
business strategy. I didn't actually develop the app. I didn't get there, <clears throat> but I have everything laid out, ready to go to launch this app and to get it developed. I'm just gonna give you some quick proof. This was my pride and joy for the whole year, I swear it saved me. Anyway, these are just a couple of my posters about my app. I'm not showing too much because I still think it's gonna be the greatest success. <laughs> but my New Year's resolution is to pitch my app to investors and to big companies that I believe will have the funds and take on my idea and I can potentially work in their company on this idea because I kind of don't want to be the CEO of this just yet. Like I'm 20 and I don't have enough money to build an app and start a company. So I just want to be a part of it and hold some sort of equity in it. The next one on the list is to learn how to cook and meal prep. I honestly don't really cook, I just prepare food. And I spend so long doing it. Like even this morning I made, like I just make the most random meals that aren't even like a meal, like they're just disgusting. Like it was like eggs and a wrap and some salad and some chicken on a plate. Like I don't even know what that is. And I took so long to do it, just a waste of my time and Honestly, I just need to make like proper meals that are actually like a meal. Like I don't even know what that was. This one is a big one, but to stop mindlessly scrolling on my phone. Sometimes I just go on my phone and just go from like one app to the other. I'm sure a lot of people are probably in this same situation. Like we're just addicted to them and not like gonna lie. I love social media. Like it's what I want to do and it's so fun to me sometimes it's not even social media like sometimes i'm playing like candy crush or like done my sadai i'm like why am i doing that that is so i could be doing something so much more productive and educational but no i'm just like or tiktok tiktok is like the worst this is another big one for me to live a more minimalist life and stop hoarding things i don't think i'm that bad like I've definitely met people that just keep a whole lot more stuff and just buy a lot more stuff than me. Like, I don't think I'd buy and overconsume that much, but I just, I do think I get a bit sentimental with some things and feel like I will need them in the future, but I haven't touched them in like three years. So I kind of want to just declutter, have a clean slate and only buy things that are going to be investments for myself and my future. and impact my life positively and not just random crap that I want to buy because it's on sale as well. That's another thing that I do a lot. And the last thing on my list is I want to continue to be educated. I don't think that I'm going to go back to uni this semester or ever at this rate. I just am kind of seeing what's going to happen. I don't know how I feel about that, but We'll see, but I genuinely think that like taking some sort of self-development or online course, even if it's reading a book, will help me remain focused in that educational mindset because I found when I was doing uni last year, I got so much more done as well because I was already in that focused state. Yeah, that is the last thing on my New Year's resolutions list. I'm thinking about making a little series on the channel where I do a video dedicated to one of my resolutions in like kind of vlog style about what I'm doing to actually stick to it. Let me know if that is of interest. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope everyone had a good New Year's. I definitely did. BTV was amazing. Central C, I will love you forever. Um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.